Hello, I'm Jeff Kopp. Welcome to Trinity Lutheran's Noontime Devotions. We're glad to have you with us today. Our reading for today comes from the 21st verse of Psalm 118. And the reading is, I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and thou art become my salvation. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, who bled and died for our sins and rose again, triumphing over your enemies and our enemies as well. Grant us to be partakers of your victory, that we delivered from the hand of them that hate us, may serve you without fear in time and eternity. Amen. Martin Luther wrote that Psalm 118 was his dearest and most beloved psalm. Luther wrote that Psalm 118 gives thanks and prophecies of the Christian and of Christ, the rejected cornerstone. And now a commentary on Psalm 118. Psalm 118 concerns the coming of one who comes in the name of the Lord. The one who comes makes an incredible statement, I shall not die, but I shall live. The celebration that the Lord has not given him over to death is proclaimed as the day that the Lord has made. Because of his deliverance, the people of God renew their confession that the Lord is God. While we don't know exactly who the person was that wrote Psalm 118, we do know that he was in distress. Out of that distress, he called upon the Lord for help, and the Lord answered him. What's key is that the writer recognizes God's salvation. Not only does he see it, but everyone sees it as well. And so he stands before the gates of the temple and there gives his testimony of deliverance. The community participates and all recognize that this is the Lord's doing. And as a result, the day of salvation is now, the day that the Lord has made. Everything the writer says about himself is a way of saying that the Lord has become my salvation. I believe the greatest truth we can ever know is that the Lord is for us. That makes it possible for us to live by faith, not fear. Instead of relying on human power, the psalmist calls us to rely on the power and strength of God. His help is a power we can always take refuge in. If God is for us, who can be against us? This is now a time for us to rejoice and be glad. If God is for us, who can be against us? I will give thanks to you. You are my God. And we say again, I will give thanks to you. You are my God. Psalm 118 is also a key messianic psalm. In the New Testament, Jesus is identified as the one who comes in the name of the Lord. All four Gospels attest to that fact. And verse 26 was shouted by the crowds as Jesus entered Jerusalem. The one who comes in the name of the Lord, they shout. As the one who comes in the name of the Lord, he is recognized as the son of David the one who is coming, the coming kingdom of our ancestor David is present, the king, the king of Israel, the king of the kingdom. Jesus is the king from the line of David, who now comes with the power of the kingdom of God. His coming will bring salvation to all nations. Verses 22 and 23 also interpret Jesus' destiny. In his crucifixion and resurrection, Jesus is rejected stone that has become the chief cornerstone. The day the Lord has made is now a day of rejoicing and gladness because of Jesus' resurrection. The resurrection of Jesus is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The resurrection of Jesus from death becomes the great event by which transformations are worked in those whose lives are centered in him. There is one final key point to make. The way in which we face every problem and crisis and need in life must be colored by the knowledge that God has not given us over to death. 
we worship the risen Christ. He is present in this world as the one rejected by every human attempt to build our own world. Martin Luther wrote in his commentary on this psalm that it is no different today. The stone is rejected and stays rejected. The builders do it ex officio, for they must see to it that their building has no crack, rent, or disfiguration. The marvelous thing is that the one who our human wisdom rejects, God has, in spite of us and for our salvation, made the chief cornerstone. God has made Jesus our chief cornerstone. Let us pray. Give thanks to the Lord, O my soul. Worship him and trust his mercy and truth, for they are as great as he himself is, and they endure forever. Let the Lord be your meditation and your song in the house of your pilgrimage, because he has given you strength and has set before you the hope of eternal life in Jesus Christ. Amen. And now I would ask you to take a few minutes this week to read Psalm 118, Martin Luther's favorite psalm. Let it fill your heart with thanks for what the Lord has done for you. And now please join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. Please come back tomorrow for Trinity's Noontime Devotions. In the meantime, take care, be safe, and God bless you all.